Good evening. My name is Paco, your host for 30 Minutes of Madness. We're straight here from QB, Quinn Broadcasting. Your host, Paco. The show will start with Millie Madness. Today, we're going to interview a local artist from Nomad Nation, Ahmed Graves Eel. To 30 minutes of madness Woo! here. My first guest is a well known writer. He is a performing artist in the group No Mad Nation, and he was the official, official host of the Diamond in the Rough talent show in the historical Landis Theater. Welcome, please give a warm welcome to my boy and my first guest today, Ahmed Graves Eel. Thank you, Mary. thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad to be here today on this beautiful day, uh, beginning your story. <laughs> well, welcome to the Madhouse. Thank you. Thank you for coming on 30 Minutes of Madness TV show. Thank you. I am so, so, so appreciative of you being here. And you know what? I am. I really am excited today. So, like, excuse me if I get a little crazy, but you already know this. Well, is yeah, a little house, crazy so like that. Hello. Yeah, this is tame right now compared <laughs> we, to Millie. Millie started. madness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so let me start off in telling you, I was. I had the honor to witness you as the official official host of the Diamond in the Rough talent competition, and that was truly an amazing experience i mean the whole thing you really you did an amazing job super proud of you Thanks. can you tell me a little bit of what that experience was like from your perspective on your end uh actually it was really it was a totally awesome experience um from top to bottom from the people that work behind the scenes carrie ellis robert scarpa russell swanson main street violin uh, they did a good job of setting it up for me. All the performers were top notch. Yes. They all brought their A game. Wow. Uh, the crowd was responsive to every, it appeared to be that the crowd was responsive to everything that they saw. And it was just a wonderful night. Yes. It was wonderful. It really was. And you really did an amazing job. So I have to, you know, give you credit for that. Stop, it's you not trying to easy. make me blush? Stop no, nah, it. it's not easy to be a host. You know, people really assume that what we do sometimes we make it look a little easy, but it's not. So you really did a great job Thank as you. as a host, you know. Uh congratulate you for that. Thank you. And how impressive was the talent that blessed the stage that day? The talent I mean, is top notch. I mean, it just goes to show like Cumberland County College is a hit. Cumberland County College, you see, I'm representing. The, <laughs> you see, I'm representing the Dukes. Um, Cumberland County has a lot of hidden jewels in this area, and that particular night, some of those jewels got to shine in front of a wide audience, and and that was amazing to see. Yes. From young to a little older to yes. middle age, there was a comedian who was 54 years old that got to rep. Uh, there was a young lady who was like 10 years old that got to yes. rep. So. Um, it, it just it just spanned across the spectrum and it was beautiful yes it was it really was impressive uh, i was in the <clears> audience <throat> i was also doing some interviews that day and i got to interview you and a bunch of artists that i got to see perform on that stage and i really um am proud that how how they represented cumberland county and it was a great show and not to mention <laughs> You also, not only did you host, but you performed as well. Like yes, you yes. really just, you know, you were, you were showing off that day. Well, you yes, know what I'm saying? <laughs> there are moments in time where I have to let the world know that Ahmed G, AKA the lung, nomads, yes. nomad nation, we got something. So yes. uh, uh, Main Street Violent gave me the opportunity to MC and to MC, you know what I'm saying? And that was dope. I have to give a shout out to my Ron partner, Killer Kells, yes. and the Ron Wise Eternal. Yes. Killer Kells killed it that night as well. She sure did. And you know what I love about it too was that 
there was such a positive message behind it. Uh, uh, you know, on top of that, it right. wasn't just a performance, but it was a performance that I heard other people singing afterwards because they got inspired. It was just so positive. You know what I mean? Can you, yes. can you break down a little bit about, you know, like well, what the message was about? Yes, or, yes. You know? Well, that's... <laughs> give them a little sun. Right? <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll give them a little sprinkle. A little sprinkle. Uh, that song was inspired by Kellyanne Garcia, a.k.a. Killer Kells. Okay. Um, she, had, she wrote the lyrics already before I saw it. And she mm -hmm. sent me the beat. She sent me the beat in her lyrics. And the, the song is called Quitting's Not an Option. Yes. I mean, it's, uh, it can be self-explanatory, yes. but it was definitely important for that, that night as well, because all the performers that were on stage, especially the, the talent that was uh, you know, vying for the $500, they didn't quit. Yeah. I, I got to see them rehearse uh, for two days. I saw them take instructions from, we had, um, we had a certain type, certain types of judges that helped them, uh, that gave them responses and gave them constructive criticism to help with their performances. And then that night, they shined, and it, it was beautiful. Wow! So quitting's not an option. Definitely coincided with that event. Yeah. Because I don't quit. I know Paco Gomez doesn't quit, and I know <laughs> Millie Madness never quits. You already know, my brother. There's no quitting allowed. <laughs> not so, at all. It's so not an fact, option. So the fact that you know you performed that song just really kind of had everybody on their feet, and everybody was really embracing the lyrics of the song because I think at one point or another, everybody's had that point where it's like, oh, I've had enough, but right. I gotta keep going, I can't quit. So it really touched, I think, a lot of people, you know, home base. It, it was great, it was great, great, great. So performing and like getting that response from the audience, how, you know, how was that? I mean, that was interesting because, because there are, there are certain uh, topics that are, that are pointed out in that song that could be considered a little controversial maybe. So to hear the response from the crowd, and it was definitely a positive response. And it wasn't like there was an applause sign up there telling yeah. the crowd to clap. Yeah. Like I could tell it was genuine. It was genuine. Like Kelly could tell it was genuine yeah. too. And that's a great feeling because it's when you, you put in the work, mm. you, you know, the, the words come to you from the universe, you write it down, then you memorize it, and then you practice it, and then you perform it in front of a crowd that's yeah. receptive. Yes. I mean, it's it's yes. a feeling that's kind of indescribable. Besides yes. the fact that it feels really good. Yes. <laughs> really I could good. imagine it's like an adrenaline rush for, for yes. you. You know what I mean? And also, so tell me, like, what's what's next on your agenda? What kind of things are you looking forward to in the future as Nomad Nation kind of evolves or future? Um, what would... What, what's in, in store for you guys? Uh, we hope there's a lot in store for us. Um, so the Nomad Nation actually started off as the BOKC crew, and then they elevated to the Nomads. Uh, my rhyme partner, Divine Wise Eternal, and I have been performing, have been together as a group, the Nomads, since 1999. Wow. Uh, we did our first performance as in between between heavy metal groups in ninth in 2005 uh so we've been evolving ever since then uh we we've gotten to the point now where the, we call it the nation because it expanded we have killer kells a part of our group uh we plan on putting more music out uh yes. hopefully i can host more shows yes. killer kells is hosting shows in philadelphia there's a show coming up May 18th. It's, yes. I think it might be her birthday show. I don't know if I'm yes. supposed to say that. Yes. But uh, she's doing a, uh, putting on a show in Philly, May 18th. Yes. She picks groups to perform. I believe the Nomads are performing as well. I believe the Nomad <laughs> Nation is performing as well. But basically, in the long term, just putting out more music. Yes, that sounds good. For great. the masses. For Absolutely. the masses. Absolutely. That sounds great. I would definitely be there on the 18th. And, you know, I think people that haven't heard um, of you or kind of the things that you have done and are seeing you for the first time are like, 
want to know like where did how did you get started like where did you come from like all of a sudden it's like boom no man nation is everywhere like where did, <laughs> you know how did how did how did you get started um in in this in the music business field? yeah uh well honestly i didn't really plan on me personally it was kind of like out of the blue so I literally am a nomad because throughout the years of my life, I really stay in one spot. Yeah. So I had met a few friends through my, uh, through one of my boys, uh, Tony Ritchie. I met Dave, AKA Divine Wise Eternal, and another gentleman named Vito. Mm -hmm. it, this was like two, 1999. So they would be rhyming. And I was like, wow, these guys are really, really good. And they're from violin. So we all just became friends. We used to hang out all the time. So one night uh, we were at a party and Dave Divine Wise Eternal was like, you should write a rhyme. And I'm like, uh, okay. So I wrote it and it was like, oh, uh, you know, it was an aha moment. <laughs> yes. I gave it to him to read and he was like, yo, that was dope. And then Tony was there and he read it. He was like, yo, that was dope. And I was like, oh, okay. So what started happening after that was I would write literally every day that actually built my skills up wow. you know what i'm saying and then it was like just a seamless transition for me to join the nomads which totally made sense it was synchronistic because i was never staying in one spot anyway so that name is it's a powerful name they actually yes. started it as knowledge nomads because they didn't want to be just like a regular type of group like we like to have fun we like to do our thing but we also like to uplift the masses with spirituality and knowledge. Nice. So we're and trying to uplift. That's what it comes down to. And that's phenomenal. And I want to talk more about your writing skills and that part of your life and everything that, that you have. You're a well-known writer. A lot of people know, have, have read your, your stories. And we're going to talk more about that after these messages. Come right back. 30 minutes of madness. So we'll let you know what's popping as soon as we come back from the, these commercials. See you soon. Serve Pro of Cape May and Cumberland Counties make damage to your business like it never even happened. Water in your business brings damage, mold, and stress. Serve Pro of Cape May and Cumberland Counties take the headache out of dealing with water. Serve Pro's team will come into your business and remove any trace of water. Strike back quickly before a little headache becomes a big problem. When damage strikes, strike back with Serve Pro of Cape May and Cumberland Counties. More than a century ago, General Tire was born. Right here in America. Since then, we've made a name for ourselves by making tires you can depend on. Tires built to handle any road this country can throw at them and relied on by every kind of driver. So you know that no matter where life takes you, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. At Mintz Insurance, we're proud to have been serving our customers for nearly 80 years, offering 30 different insurance products for your auto, home, and business. And to help ensure that you're getting the best rates possible, we give you up to three quotes for every policy, so you can choose what's right for you. At Mintz, we're part of the community, local representatives, supporting events, and proud of it. It's part of who we are. Mintz Insurance. Call today and find out how we can help you save on insurance, or visit us at mintzinsurance.com. At Toyota of Vineland, we have a huge selection of quality pre-owned vehicles inspected to give you peace of mind and offered at incredible values, starting as low as $49.95. Get top dollar for your trade. Plus, our Toyota certified vehicles come with a limited warranty and roadside assistance. At Toyota of Vineland, we strive to be the best dealership in town by taking care of what's really important, you. So come to Toyota of Vineland. We have the best cars and trucks you need at the price you want. 
For that unique dining experience, check out the newly renovated Millville Queen Diner, located on 109 East Broad Street in Millville, established since 1995. Millville Queen is open seven days a week, open at 6 a.m. to midnight and closes at 3 a.m. on weekends. There are various meal specials daily. For breakfast lovers, you can get three eggs, home fries, and toast for $2.79. The Millville Queen Diner, the place where they serve you like royalty are you tired of people talking about the past we are too we are taking tv to the next level on qbc tv 22 we have an amazing selection of original content starting from local celebrity interviews to straight up madness this isn't just our tv station it is your local tv station turn to qbc tv 22 right now to see what we are watching together To 30 minutes of madness here i am with my boy ahmed graves eel from the nomad nation nomad nation yes representing here so before we left we were kind of touching up on some of your writing um skills and abilities and kind of how you got started with that um we want to know there's a lot of people that um, are interested in writing and sometimes they get like writer's block or something that you call it. I don't know what it is, but writer's block, yes. has that ever happened to you? And if so, like what are kind of some ways that you get inspired? Like what inspires you to write? Well, that is a good question. Um, because actually for the last couple of years, I haven't really written too much in regards to hip hop. Okay. Uh, I think that has to do with because I work at SMJ today as an associate content editor. Uh, I write a lot of articles. I, I consider myself a compelling writer. Mm. I try to write insightful articles, uh, things that will bring knowledge to, to the people who actually read it. Um, so when it comes to hip hop, what inspires me is uh, everything really. I'm all about nature. I'm all about universal synchronicities and things like that. Um, I pay attention to politics. I love sports. I love comedy. So I can pull from anywhere when, when necessary uh, to distinctly and explicitly describe how an inspirational thought comes. It could be anything. I could watch something on TV and just hear a phrase that catches me and then I'll write it down and then Later on, I'll go back to it, and then I can write like 16 bars off of that. Do you find that it usually comes like, is it like in the daytime, or does it happen? And have you ever like had a thought in the middle of the night and you yes. jump up and you have to write it? Yes. So it, it will happen at at any time. Is what you're at saying? At any time. There's no specific time. It's just, uh, yeah. There's no specific time. I can't say like. Oh, at five o'clock every day, I'm going to like sit down and write something and then a spark will come. Um, that would be too encompassing and too claustrophobic in my mind. Uh, I've, I'm free. My spirit is free. And when my spirit connects to something, then I'll write. Plain and simple. Okay, that sounds good. Now, have you always been um, from Cumberland? Are you I'm from Cumberland I'm from County? Vine, yes. I was Violin, born in Brixton, Brixton Hospital, but reared in Vineland. The okay. land of vines. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been lots of places, though. That's where the nomadic part comes in. Uh, I can't front. I've been kicked out of my house a few times. Love you, Mom. You did it for a good reason. <laughs> so I ended up in uh, different types of places that I, I didn't expect to be in. But um, everywhere I go, I make it my home. So yeah. uh, I'm, I'm pretty much comfortable everywhere because I love being here. I can't describe why, but yes, I love being here. Yeah, definitely. And you know what? I think um, in life, everybody goes through their their, their struggles. It, 
it kind of builds the character. Yes. It builds, it helps you find yourself who you are. Um, I, I'm, thank you for sharing that with us because in life, there's, there's no such thing as perfect. And there's people that can relate to, you know, to, to different scenarios that have been through different scenarios where maybe they have not had a home or they've been right. from home to home or whatever it is. It's what you make out of it. I think, um, that really is what is important is how you, you, what you do with that and you turn it around and now you're out there inspiring others, you know, that it goes a lot to say about you and your character and everything that you bring to the table. Well, sometimes people think I'm a character too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, you know, you made me think of the, the, there was a dance hall song in the 90s and basically uh, the guy's like, life is what you make it, so come here, my it dear. <laughs> Try and make it. <laughs> I know that you will. Yeah. Quit, quit, it's, not it's, it's not just a song for the nomads and for the people that I consider my family. Uh, it's a way of life. I mean, yes. we all go through struggles. Yes. We're supposed to go through struggles. Like you yes. said, it builds character. Yes. It lets you learn about yourself. It lets you know about your weaknesses and your strengths. And I'm still going through it. So I'm just trying to be a strong individual you know what i'm saying okay <laughs> <laughs> and i know you sound. are too i am completely proud of everything you're doing oh, like one day we'll have to tell the audience the story of how we met but um i'm very proud of you Millie. that oh thank you so much well you know actually did you ever think we, we no. were we were <laughs> we were in college in public speaking class Yes. And we were just learning. Learning how to speak, Mr. DeFrank. And all of a sudden, it's like, here we are. You know, isn't life is just amazing. You just it's never beautiful. know. You never know how things are going to turn up. And, you know, I'm so happy to know you and seeing you through your journey. Yes. Um, and vice I'm, versa. I'm, I'm very proud of you and everything that you've done. How is it that people can get a hold of you and find out what's next for you, what, what you're going to be up to. Um, a lot of people are into your music and you've inspired a lot of people. So they want to know how they can get a hold of you. Well, what I like to do is like um, the, the 1960s Batman. I like to put a light up in the air and instead of a bat, you'll just see a giant lung in the air. <laughs> that's, that's when you know I'm around. <clears throat> but now on, on the real, just look for the light with the lung. Um, <laughs> no, nah, on, on the real Facebook, Ahmed okay. Graves Eel. Okay. Facebook, Nomad Nation. Okay. Facebook, Killer Kells. Facebook, Facebook. It seems like Facebook is the way. Facebook is definitely the way. I also work at SNJ Today. Uh, people can call up SNJ Today because one of the things that I like to do there is write positive stories about positive people doing positive things in Cumberland County. Okay. So I try to be multifaceted in that aspect. Um, but if you really, if you really want to check out the Nomads and Nomad Nation, hit up Mommy Can Kill a Flow. Killer Kells, Kellyanne Garcia, she is the, the main conductor of that essence. And you may see her very soon. Yes. 30 Minutes of Madness. Yes, yes. And one more question is, the lung why the lung like oh. what what how did you pick the lung what was your what what is the meaning behind that or 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 you want to save that for another yeah time? i'll have to say that okay. for another time i'll tell you <laughs> off air and then Wait. see if that's going to be allowed on qbc which all i right. doubt highly but i i will take your advisement <laughs> <laughs> all right well guys here you have it, here with our um, our guest, Ahmed Grave Eel. I hope that you enjoyed the 30 Minutes of Madness here and we'll definitely be back for more. So hope to see you. Follow us on Quinn Broadcasting. Here we are, 30 Minutes of Madness. We will see you again soon. Take care. Millie Madness, yeah! yeah. Give it up to Go Millie Madness! Madness. <laughs> Global Media Society, integrity for her. All right. <laughs> See you soon.
In the true essence of the word, I am a nomad who holds pens and pads where I lay is where my home's at. My soul adapts through tragedies and adversities, a student of life studying lessons in God's university. Lyrically, I flow, a low center of gravity, death defying so. I came and tamed my sanity, single-handedly save humanity with a roadmap. Full steam ahead, leave pain behind, never go back. This throwback stops, smells the beauty of rose, has attentions paid to small things and spent no cash. Freedom isn't free, unless you truly believe, like we understand the gifts granted unto thee. The treasures of God, we reap the fruit of sown seeds, planted in sincerity, dismissing demons of misery. Desires, devil scheme, turn ash like papers and notepads. We cleanse vermins of violence with virtuous vocab. Yo, give it up to divine wise eternal killer kells. Yo, I can keep going on and on to the break of dawn. Word is born. We don't give him too much, yo. Don't give him too much, yo. Don't give him some more. Paco, let me give him some more. Give him some more. Presence to God. From the presence of God. Presence to God. Milly Madness. Paco Gomez. Next time we got a new artist coming in, a local artist. Don't miss it. Special. Come get some, baby. It's so special. I'm so extraterrestrial. My name is Ahmed G, and I got the dope flow at Quinn Broadcasting. Yo, I'm forecasting like Northeastern Nick. My rhymes are kind of dope. Are you tired of people talking about the past? We are too. We are taking TV to the next level. On QBC TV 22, we have an amazing selection of original content, starting from local celebrity interviews to straight up madness. This isn't just our TV station, it is your local TV station. Turn to QBC TV 22 right now to see what we are watching together. Serve Pro of Cape May and Cumberland Counties make damage to your business like it never even happened. Water in your business brings damage, mold, and stress. Serve Pro of Cape May and Cumberland Counties take the headache out of dealing with water. Serve Pro's team will come into your business and remove any trace of water. Strike back quickly before a little headache becomes a big problem. When damage strikes, strike back with Serve Pro of Cape May and Cumberland Counties. More than a century ago, General Tire was born, right here in America. Since then, we've made a name for ourselves at making tires you can depend on. Tires built to handle any road this country can throw at them, and relied on by every kind of driver. So you know that no matter where life takes you, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. At Mintz Insurance, we're proud to have been serving our customers for nearly 80 years, offering 30 different insurance products for your auto, home, and business. And to help ensure that you're getting the best rates possible, we give you up to three quotes for every policy, so you can choose what's right for you. At Mintz, we're part of the community, local representatives, supporting events, and proud of it. It's part of who we are. Mintz Insurance. Call today and find out how we can help you save on insurance, or visit us at mintzinsurance.com. At Toyota of Vineland, we have a huge selection of quality pre-owned vehicles inspected to give you peace of mind and offered at incredible values, starting as low as $49.95. Get top dollar for your trade. Plus, our Toyota certified vehicles come with a limited warranty and roadside assistance. At Toyota of Vineland, we strive to be the best dealership in town by taking care of what's really important, you. So come to Toyota of Vineland. We have the best cars and trucks you need at the price you want.
For that unique dining experience, check out the newly renovated Millville Queen Diner, located on 109 East Broad Street in Millville, established since 1995. Millville Queen is open seven days a week, open at 6 a.m. to midnight and closes at 3 a.m. on weekends. There are various meal specials daily. For breakfast lovers, you can get three eggs, home fries, and toast for $2.79. The Millville Queen Diner, the place where they serve you like royalty. Are you tired of people talking about the past? We are too. We are taking TV to the next level. On QBC TV 22, we have an amazing selection of original content, starting from local celebrity interviews to straight up madness. This isn't just our TV station, it is your local TV station. Turn to QBC TV 22 right now to see what we are watching together.